What up, what up, what up, guys? It's Salavathan, and we're back with another reaction today. Really energetic right now, but I'm super excited to jump into Orient Episode 8 today. Coming off of Episode 7, you know, we had um, a pretty kind of like a serious episode, I guess you can say. And a little bit of, um, uh, I guess, uh, a spotlight for, for Kojiro, because it really, it really showed, it really like... Um, it was an episode for him to kind of like shine. So we finally got to that village where we were supposed to get our Kitetsus and things like that. You know, we went into a uh, Kitetsu auction where essentially, you know, you get to um, choose your blade and if it's compatible, you know, that you're gonna be its new master and stuff like that. So Kojo and Masashi are both going through that. Kojo kind of goes through his own little uh, test here and ends up passing with flying colors and bonding with the sword that he had. It was really cool because we saw like his aura, which was en ended up being blue and you can kind of see it um kind of manifest itself in which we actually learned that the auras actually do have a purpose so bushi auras come in like five colors uh blue green white um blue green white yellow and the strongest one is supposed to be red so for some reason i assume masashi was going to be like a, a red aura and things like that but it turns out that he, he had like a little bit of um a mental thing that was going on with him where we, he started to remember something bad that happened with Kojiro's dad and I'm glad that they revealed that because for a while we were kind of um kind of assumed Kojiro's dad was dead but we didn't really know if his faith what his fate really was right and in here we actually saw that he was captured by the townspeople and pretty much executed in a horrific way where they were like binding his arms and legs and they were like pulling him apart and things like that so it's really gruesome to see but unfortunately because of that I think that was part of the reason why Musashi failed. I think his aura turned out to be black. And because his was black, it made him incompatible with the Kitetsu or something like that. So the 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 people who were there said you can he can never essentially be a bushi. So that was hard on him, you know. We had we saw Musashi kind of moping around, you know, because that's all he's wanted to be was a bushi. But on the flip side, you know, we saw Kojo stepping up, and it was great to see because they were fighting um what's it called? The Kishin that were coming down and a Kishin that was coming down and a bunch of Oni that were also with the Kishin and Kojiro was like whoa, 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 whoa. like he was going crazy he was like killing things it, it was a it was a great showcase for Kojiro honestly that was that was um it made me really like his character a lot because he was he was doing shit and he stepped up when he needed to step up and I like it he got more confidence in himself because for a while his character it felt like he was um really really uh affected by the, how he his life was in in the town and stuff like that and how they treated him and I'm glad that he was able to kind of get um praise from people who are outside of it but unfortunately you know Masashi's still kind of um down about it but we meet up with the white haired guy again and apparently he also has black aura too and he came to Masashi and he's like hey me and you are alike so I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen in this episode because the rest of the Bushi all went out to go fight the Kishin while Musashi and this guy are kind of like chilling together right now so I'm super excited to see what he's gonna teach him I want to see if maybe the black aura um, connects to like a different type of Kitetsu I don't know because the blade that he was focusing on essentially um, was the one that we see in the opening so he's supposed to get that blade I, I just don't know what's gonna happen here. I'm excited to see what's going to go through this episode though. So yeah, we're gonna get started with that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And make sure you check out that Patreon link for full uncut reactions of this show. I don't even know where the Patreon link is. Of this show and many more such as movies, TV shows, other, other stuff, other anime. Honestly, check it out. It's worth it. Um, you get full on cut reactions of uh, basically everything that I put out here, so can't hurt to check it out. But with that, th though, we're gonna get started with Orient Episode 8. Let's go. Kimi,の居場所は俺たちの隣だよ。俺と同じだ。黒い石が体だから。あんたは今朝俺に気鉄刀を貸してくれた人だよな。やっぱりそこにいたんだな。は? <笑> What are these random black stones that are inside him or something? Are they Are they evil or something? Are they do they house like souls or something? 
その通りだぜそれで俺たちが強くなる方法を知らないで、oh, to him a whole new way to get stronger and be able to use Kitetsu Blades。Oh my god, I wonder what it's gonna be。Yep。俺が鬼鉄刀を使えるようになるにはどうすればいいんだ君もこの鉱石を受け入れればいいんだ。黒い鉱石を受け入れる。Oh yo! The、um, what's it called? The episode title was called The Obsidian Goddess. So, is the Obsidian Goddess that thing inside, his, inside the、uh, trial that we saw? Yo, this guy literally cut that in a second because he accepted the black stones? What? ね、何するつもりだ。刀の素材はロノナカエ。What the hell? What? He just tossed Masashi in there with like no hesitation <laughs> for some reason, and he said that that was supposed to be some type of a trial to get raw materials. それに落ち込んでる武蔵を置いてきてよかったの。冷たいんじゃないの？いいんだ。でも武蔵は立ち直ることができるのかしら？何？言ってたじゃない。黒い陶器の武蔵は鬼鉄刀を使えないって。すごく珍しいって。武蔵は何かすごい力を受け継いだ人間なんでしょ。特別な家の生まれとか。うん。うん。うん。<笑> Why is it? Why is it so ominous over here? So his parents were farmers. <laughs> why are you trying to make it sound like he was a part of some special family? You piece of shit, Kojiro. <laughs> you piece of shit. Okay, <laughs> but what happened to Masashi's parents that made him want to, um, I guess, follow Kojiro's dad? Because we don't see his parents anymore. So did they die, or something? マジじゃ刀は無別の対象だ。なのにあいつは。お前。すげえな。今の葉っぱどうやって切ったんだ。こう。こう。うん。俺できねえ。Kojiro was pretty awesome as a kid, bro. He was able to cut that leaf without any blade on the actual fake sword or whatever the hell he had. Yo, what the hell happened to Masashi's parents, man? Oh, they both got sick and died? Yeah. Sugumi speaking facts right now. Inukai Shiru. That's his name. Inukai Shiru. Her name is Nanawe. Nanao Inukai. So they're both related, I think. Oh. 
Wow, so this guy isn't even the same as Musashi who was just bullshitting him? Why would you do that, man? Because I think he's trying to get it, uh, trying to figure out something out of his own goals, man. He's just like he just wants the goddess or something. Okay, so it seems as though the Shiro guy is looking for this goddess that's inside of Musashi or whatever that thing was. Yo, this guy's been falling for a very long time. Is this a bottomless pit? How is he able to make the pit this deep with just like two slashes? What the hell? Yo, this Shiro guy is a it's a absolute beast. How is he able to do that? Wow, that's why. That's why it's an impossible decision. Because either way, this guy isn't gonna be alive. Either he's gonna turn into the material that he wants him to, or he's gonna fall in the lava. Okay, alright, okay, okay, being proactive, Masashi. Good job, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. ここでずっと一緒に暮らそう。いや、外に出してくれよ。小次郎たちが危ねえんだよ。お前は必要ないと言っただろう。ほら、昔と同じだよ。覚えているだろう。Oh no! Is is it? Did they did they die from like an extreme plague or something? Okay, that makes sense then, because maybe they all died from some type of ep ep epidemic or something. Wow, these bastards, bro! They tossed them on the side like, yo, your parents were freaking bushy sympathizers, so we definitely don't want you in our house.武士に情けをかける不信人者の子を預かるのは政権帝が悪いんだよ。とにかくお前には目立たないようにしてほしいんだ。いいな。あ、はい。みんなの前で金巻きの家のこと話しちゃいけないんだ。武士と関わったらこ
戦えないお前は仲間たちにとっても価値がないお前と私は一心同体だ Oh, so this thing is trying hard not to get captured So it's saying I don't want you to go out to fight Bushi We're gonna be together forever, you know? お前は行かなくていいんだよ Is this thing an Oni itself? Because it called itself a goddess. So are there goddesses in this world too? On a flip side of there being Oni? Okay. Orient episode 8. That was great. That was a great episode. I liked it a lot. It had, it had, um, some good reveals on um i guess you know backstories and things like that but we definitely learned a lot about musashi as a character you know now i'm glad we learned about that mystery character's name because i kept getting tired of calling him the white haired guy his name is shiro inomaki and his partner is named nanawe nanao nanawe whatever <laughs> that's how he pronounced it i think it's nanao nanao yeah anyway so <laughs> He kind of comes out to uh, Musashi, lies to him, says that they're they're the same. I guess you can say, but they're not. He he has ulterior motives, and I think he wants to be able to utilize the goddess that's inside him and to forge the best, I guess, Kitetsu blade with Musashi's life. I guess you can say. So I'm wondering why he specifically has the goddess inside him. There, that's a little bit of a mystery that they that I think they're going to explore a little bit later. But it was really interesting to see that as the reason why he couldn't use Kitetsu blades. And it wasn't necessarily that specific reason. I think the goddess was, was doing something to, to stop him from using Kitetsu blades. But it was really great to see. Um, we learned finally about Musashi's parents. And Musashi's parents were farmers. They were normal people. And then they died of a, of a plague or an epi epidemic that happened in their, um, their town, Tatsu Tatsuyama. Um, essentially then after Musashi in his backstory, you know, he was he was saddened, you know, like he kept getting jumped around from place to place, had nowhere to live, you know, was told his whole life getting pushed, 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 pushed his whole life to essentially hate uh, Bushi or wanting to hate Bushi or whatever. And it was really crazy to see that because that was the specific reason I think that the goddess was kind of using as a means like, look at that, look at that there, right? Like if you really cared about being a Bushi that much, you're will wouldn't have been broken in that moment and i kind of liked that the goddess did that to him i know the goddess is also thinking kind of selfishly i think the goddess wants to protect herself because she's like if we go out and fight we might risk dying or whatever or being captured i want to explore that more because that's very interesting but i also like the fact that the goddess was kind of like um kind of like um testing him in a way where it's like is your will strong enough to be able to be a bushi is this really what you want to do in your life right because most of the bushis that are actually out there usually are from great families or they're descendants of other bushis or, or, or something like that in his town there were mostly only sympathizers right so it didn't really make sense for him to be a bushi if, if, that, if that makes sense whatever i'm excited for this next episode because it looks like we're out to actually fight the kishin so kojiro sees the kishin and he's shocked by it he's like this is the kishin and it looked weird because they looked like there was some weird stuff coming out of the Kishin I don't know what that was but it, it was it was weird purplish group or something so I don't know what that was it looks like a lightning Kishin it, it seems like a lightning Kishin but we'll see what happens going forward from there um but yeah that was the recap that was the episode um great episode great episode can't wait to get into it and jump into episode nine here and see what actually happens going forward but with that with that though i think that's um it for the video here i will see you guys around stay safe peace out i'm loving all the support you guys give and i'll keep keep pushing out as much content as i possibly physically can which is not a lot but you know what it's enough see you guys around bye